Hello there! A delightful day to all viewers of TV Escuela, DepEd Davao de Oro. Most especially to our grade 5 learners. I am so grateful because you are going to learn something new again in science together with me. Yay! Come on! Let's discover, explore, and learn science in this program where education continues. I am your teacher on air for today's session. I am teacher Glenna Faith Dalisay Baga from Bukal Elementary School, Nabunturan East District. And welcome to our lesson in Science 5. Yeah! Is everybody ready to start? Yeah! I hope you are all ready for our science lesson. Now, we will continue our lesson in Module 1. I want you to get your module in Science 5, Quarter 2, Module 1, Lesson 2. But before we go on to our topic for this lesson, please be guided that at the end of the lesson, you are expected to Describe the parts of the female reproductive system and their functions. Identify the parts through illustrations. Explain the parts of female reproductive system and its function. Our topic for this session is all about the female reproductive system, parts and their functions. A distinguishing characteristic of the female reproductive system is its ability to give temporary and safe place for the developing human being. The system accommodates the entry of sperm cells and gives space for developing baby. My dear learners, I want you to open your module on page 9. Take a look on what's in. Now, try to answer the first activity. Direction. Identify the part of the female reproductive system that is being described in each of the statements below. And write your answers on your paper. For number one, it is called as the oviduct. Again, it is called as the oviduct. Right! The answer is fallopian tube. For number two, it produces egg cells and the sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. Again, it produces egg cells and the sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. Ovary, that's right! For number three, it is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. Again, it is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. Correct! The answer is cervix. Number four, it is also called the womb. Again, it is also called the womb. You got it right again. The answer is uterus. For number five, it is also called the birth canal. Again, it is also called the birth canal. Very good. The answer is vagina. Well done for the first activity. Let's now proceed to the second one. Kindly get another sheet of paper. For activity 2, direction. Label the parts of the female reproductive system. I will give you enough time to answer. Are you done? Yeah! Wow! Great stuff! This time... I want you to turn the page of your module to page 10. 
take a look in the activity what's new as you can see there's an illustration of the female reproductive system with the number labels as described in the next part what are you going to do you will supply the missing letters to form a word that is being described below again write your answer on your paper for number one it is a soft wall tube with mucous membrane and it is about 7 cm long and it is also called the birth canal. The answer is vagina. Number 2. A muscular ring that conducts the uterus to the vagina. Answer, cervix. Number 3. The passageway of the mature egg cell from the ovary to the uterus. This is also where the mature egg cell unites with the sperm cell. The answer is fallopian tube. Number 4. It is where the fetus stays in 9 months until birth. The answer is uterus. Number five, it is the main female reproductive organ. The answer is ovary. Have you done it right? Yay! Excellent! Well done! That's great! At this point, kindly turn to page 11 and we'll learn more about the female reproductive system. The female reproductive system is made up of several parts. Fallopian tube. Also known as the oviduct. It is a tube that leads the egg from the ovary to the uterus. And it lies close to the ovary waiting for the egg to enter it is also the usual place where egg is fertilized by the sperm cell next the uterus also called the womb this is where the unborn baby is developed It has soft, smooth inner lining called uterine lining or endometrium. Next, ovary is responsible for producing egg cells and sex hormones which are the estrogen and progesterone. Female has two ovaries where matured egg cells are produced during ovulation. Cervix is a narrow opening between the uterus and vagina which enlarges to let the passage of a fetus during birth. Vagina Also called the birth canal is a hollow muscular tube that leads to the opening called vulva it expands to let the baby pass through during the delivery right now we will go on to the next activity turn to page 12 and let me explain what you will do to the following activities indicated in what's more all the answers should be written in a separate sheet of paper. Activity 1. Using the following list, write the correct part of the female reproductive system with their function. For number 1, 
The tubes that carry an egg from the ovary to the uterus. Fallopian tube. Number two, hollow muscular tube that leads to the opening called vulva. Vagina. Number three, organs where all female egg cells are stored. Ovaries. Number four is where the unborn baby is developed. Uterus. Number five, narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. Cervix. For activity two, Match the parts of the female reproductive system in column A to its function in column B. Number one, uterus. Number two, vagina. Number three, fallopian tube. Number four, ovary. And number five, cervix. For activity 3, write T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. Number 1. The vagina produces egg cells and sex hormones. Answer. False. Number 2. The uterus is where the unborn baby is developed. Answer. True. Number three, the oviduct or fallopian tube connects the rest of the system to the two ovaries. Answer, true again. Number four, the cervix acts as the passage through which the baby exits the uterus into the vagina. Answer, true. For number five, the ovary is a usual place where the egg is fertilized by the sperm cell. Answer, false. Number six, to prevent reproductive system injuries, use protective gear when playing contact sports. Answer, true. Number seven, Use sanitary napkins during menstruation. Answer, true. Number eight, wash the genitalia with water and laundry soap. Answer, false. Number nine, wear clean underwear daily. Answer, true. For number 10, get adequate sleep and have a balanced diet. Answer, true. Good job, you're halfway there. Yay! Now, to sum up your learning, let's have the activity, what I have learned. I want you to fill in the blanks with the correct word or words that would complete each sentence. Have you finished? Yeah! Now, let's complete each statement. Number one, the male reproductive system is made up of several organs which include the penis, scrotum, testes, epididymis, glands, urethra, seminal vesicle, 
vas deferens, Cowper's gland, prostate glands. Number two, it is specifically responsible for producing sperm cells and hormones. Number three, each part of male reproductive system has specific function. Number four, the female reproductive system is made up of several organs which include the oviduct, uterus, ovary, cervix, and vagina. Number five, it is specifically responsible for producing egg cells. Very good! You're in the right lines! For the last activity, turn to page 14 and accomplish the activity What I Can Do. What you are going to do, you will draw the male and female organ, then label the parts and write their function. You may use the following rubrics to score your work. Now, I want you to continue answering the assessment and additional activities on pages 15 and 16. You may check your answers afterwards by using the answer keys. That's all for today! I hope you have learned a lot from our discussion. Again, this is Teacher Glenn of Faith Dalisay Baga. From Bukal Elementary School, Nabunturan East District, saying, Dito, sa TV Eskwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!